Hello, Rally Navigator fan. This is Mike, and this video is a review of everything new and improved up to our current version 2.3.13. Let's go. Had a lot of requests from regularity and TSD users to add one meter accuracy to our roadbooks. So now users can go to the roadbook menu, decimal format, and select thousands. You'll see that's reflected across all the different places distance shows in our roadbook. And you can see a finished product right here on a PDF format. So um, we've also added support, better support for multi-language format. So now when users log in, you're gonna see a pop-up here to choose your language um, for the system and menu or map and directions language. We have now added support for Lithuanian language. Uh, if you can contribute any additional languages to Rally Navigator translation, please contact me, info at rallynavigator.com. And also please share these language translations with your local language uh, rally community to help spread the word about our language support. So, other items. The My Icons folder can now drag and drop icons to rearrange the icons to make it a little more organized for you. Um, we've added a feature to remove extra track points. So if you have a file that was imported from a very high resolution GPX track, or you have a long file with a lot of track points, you can improve performance by going to File, Remove Extra Track Points. I'm going to click Continue. And you can see how many track points you've lost. This will improve performance on drag and drop and also calculation on the roadbook. Um, we've now added a feature where all of my icons and the custom header image uh, are now compressed, again, to increase performance. We've added a few more choices on our file menu. New cross country, new road and stage will pop up in a new window. Uh, open an RN file in a new window and also open recent uh, to improve usability. Pro users can now export their icon library to a different computer or to share with a different pro user. Our ruler tool now shows partial distances also. We have added a new uh, distance arrow. So we have one distance arrow that is a fixed straight arrow that can be rotated and placed. And we've also added a new flexible distance arrow uh, that can be stretched and shaped uh, any way you like. So, moving on, we've made a change to the way our uh, ET distance cap feature is calculated. So now for waypoint 18, I want to add an ET distance cap. I'm going to click on the first track point here, add the cap. You'll see ET distance cap here. And again, Add a second ET distance cap, we'll add this. These will be automatically updated as a user moves the track handles uh, on the map to avoid a chance for error. Um, we've also updated our the way our cap average and cap calculated pull the cap heading to the next waypoint. So click on waypoint 19 here. The cap function will pull the display the cap to the first track point. Now the cap average and cap calculated show the cap heading to the next waypoint per FIA specifications. So update there. We've added bigger partial numbers on our uh, roadbook here and also the D WPP uh, now shows in the PDF when exporting there. Lots of other improvements uh, under the skin also. Um, any questions or feedback, please contact me, info at rallynavigator.com. Uh, thank you for supporting our project, and thank you to my development team, uh, Dave, Philippe, Helder, Caesar, Sergey, and Gustavo. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it, and I hope you all have fun making rally roadbooks. Thanks for supporting Rally Navigator.